probably wondering what is a burl wood antler flower and I would say I don't know I never made one but I'm gonna today I cut this little burl off a oak tree years ago that's one part of the story and then I had my friend from what I call Flagstaff Alaska he's from Arizona moved to Alaska to become a resident so he could just hunt the coolest critters on planet earth just become great friends with them and collectively we go through some of these crazy mind-boggling ideas the short of it is he had his father-in-law give him some old racks off some Sitka blacktail that he had harvested years ago um, the guys probably killed hundreds and hundreds and he only kept a handful of racks some of them are broken some of them are still together and he's like hey man I don't want to crown mount them but I want to do something creative are you at all interested in taking on the project it's just a silly question he knew it when he called me because of course I want to do it so the idea today is to sounds sacrilegious but I'm gonna cut all these off so they're gonna almost appear like sheds I'm gonna run them into the bandsaw clean up the burrs and then because everything that happens over at rack hub is just classy and clean I'm gonna use their product called the antler bar it's just a post that you would lag into like a piece of wood um, there's an insert that goes in the base of the horn and then you can pretty much slide it into place and position it wherever you want so the idea is to take all of these antlers and adhere them to this piece of wood kind of in a flower configuration to where everything is represented in a round if you will kind of a flower no idea if it's going to work he's allowing me to just take the risk and do it and i can't wait so let's uh let's get to cutting for those of you that know sitka blacktail those are two really good ones this one's an absolute slob and i hate to cut it off the rack I think we can make something beautiful. That's not how it works. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take the bandsaw and just clean up the base of all of these antlers. And then I'm gonna go to the grinding wheel and the wire wheel, and I'm just gonna make them nice and clean so they kind of look like match sets of sheds. Let's go. So it doesn't matter what I do right here, right now. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna get all these drilled first. So this antler bar is from Rack Hub, and like I said, everything these guys do is just really classy, really top notch, really high quality engineering. It's a fantastic idea. Uh, I did a film form not too long ago, and everybody's like, "I just hate the idea of drilling an antler." Yeah, so do I. But it's a necessary evil. Uh, if you're gonna do something like this. It's a great way to support a shed. The truth is, if you ever wanted to take that out, you can pull that insert out and super glue and bone dust, like everybody's talking about, fill it in. You're splitting hairs, uh, no big deal. Now this is designed to go in as long as the insert. So you would put a piece of tape on the end of your bit so it only goes in so far but I kind of want this one to recess. So I'm gonna drill them longer than the manufacturer suggests, and I'm gonna go straight in line with the beam because I want them to sit flush.
And you want to go straight in. And straight out. For those of you that are doing it and you have dogs, save all of this. Save that. Put a little in with their kibble. They will lose their brain. Just a little heads up here, that Rack Hub bar comes with the bar, the insert, and the bit you need to do all the drilling. It's all in one kit with the instructions, super clean and easy. Mr. Bean, what you eating? Is that good, bud? I hope this turns out all right. I'm just setting up the camera and just push and record. Um, the way these inserts are designed, there's 12, I think it's 12, little spines on the outside and when you knock them in I like to use a like kind of a soft hammer when you knock them in those spines right inside that porous bone and just lock it in place super super tight you can over smack them and bend them that's why I like to use that soft hammer So I wasn't sure if I should stagger them, but because they are sets, I think they kind of look neat together. So I'm gonna leave these in place and just kind of do them one at a time. I'm just gonna move around the table. So I have a 3 16 bit, which is gonna grab the top of the antler bar. And then I'm gonna kind of hold the antler up where I think it would, is gonna go. Ultimately, if this looks good, we'll epoxy the antler bar in place so this can go on the wall. Um, and then I'm just going to take a little drill bit here and just run me a little pilot hole. Nice part about this piece of oak is it's just dense and strong. And We'll see. <laughs> Freaking awesome. It went together like pretty smooth. Um, essentially, there it is, the burl wood antler flower. And I believe if you just put a little, maybe even super glue or epoxy, you could set that right on the wall. If I hold these particular antlers, you probably just go right on the wall. Look, you see it there? Pretty cool. I love it because I'm crazy about antlers, but. Um, let me know what you think. Is that a nice way to display six racks that were your grandfather's or is that just some kind of weird? Holler at me.